NZRL Youth Competition Rugby League Tournament comes to a conclusion here at Napunawai in Christchurch today. Yes, grand final is coming in just a moment. Thanks for joining us. We are looking forward to what's going to be a cracking contest between the South Island and the Upper Central Stallions. And this is where we have talent galore across the park. And thank you for joining us here at a sunny but windy Napunawai Christchurch today for this match between the Scorpions and the Stallions. Scorpions coming into this match having won all four of their games over Wellington, Mid Central Northern, and their round robin match with their opponents today, the Upper Central Stallions. And the Stallions only losing the once to the South Island at score a few weeks back 30 points to 26. So looking forward to seeing both teams in action again. What was a close contest that previous time at Rotorua? A nice rematch coming today. Glenn Lama's my name, joined by Blake Ashford, of course, uh, NRL veteran of 170 games. The, the Sharks, the Tigers and the Warriors, of course. Have to uh, thank our major partners here at New Zealand Rugby League as well. Pertec, Mainstream, CCL, BLK and Sky Sport. It's been a tough season with COVID affecting everything. But thank you to the major partners of New Zealand Rugby League for sticking with the sport through to its conclusion. Time to check out the lineups now. And we're going to start with the South Island Scorpions team. Pretty much every player from Canterbury except one from the West Coast and one from Southland. Key players include the Senders, Matthew Longapati, who's linked with the Warriors already, and Tom Campbell, the captain, who's an honest and hard-working player. Caleb Murphy, number seven, a very good half, already played Premier Rugby League in Christchurch for Hornby. Up front, uh, keep your eye on the hooker, Makaya Tafua, who's played in the Queensland Under-18 competition earlier this year. And Leo Nasio is an exciting and athletic back rower. The coach is Archie Jacobs, who's just on the right of screen there. What's he eating? Looks like he might be eating an ice cream or maybe a chocolate bar to get a bit of extra energy. Good to see, Archie. Let's have a look at the upper central stallion side. Of course, all these players from Bay of Plenty. The stars include the fullback. Tamido Armstrong, who's a Warriors SG ball player from last year. Dylan Walker at uh, number six, very good leader, has experience in the Warriors development system too, as does the other halves player, Tome Puna. So some real talent out there in the backs in this team. In the forward, Brooklyn Rowley, number eight, played in the under-20s national comp earlier this year. And Jericho York is a big, strong back rower from Tauranga, the coach, Damian White. Now come the upper central stallions led by their captain. And this team, Blake A. should touched on, particularly in the backs, three players the Warriors have got on their books. There's some talent coming out of the Bay of Plenty in this age group. There sure is, mate. Uh, last time these two teams met as well, Tommy Puna and Jericho York had a field day out on their edge. So I think they'll be looking to go back there again. Some very exciting players, as you said. Yeah, most of them from Rotorua. And now the South Island team, though. There are some good players in this side as well. Another player we should mention is Jason Laurie, the son of Corey Laurie, who played four games for the Warriors in 2007 in the NRL and actually played alongside each other because his dad is still playing the game here in Christchurch for the Hornby Panthers. Player coach of that team this year that, of course, went on and won the title. So a really close game between these two last time, 30 to 26. From memory, Blake, it was along a party who scored a try right at the end of the game in the corner for them to seal it. It was, mate, it was. Like I said, Jericho York had a field day, so did along a party, and he got, that, he got the last say with the try in the corner, and I'm expecting another, another close one today. So here are the referee and the officials today. It's Jack Fevers with the ball in his hand. who'll be with the whistle in this match. So thank you for joining us today. It's going to be a terrific contest. If you missed the early match today, Mid Central are the 16s champions for 2021. They were too good for the South Island Scorpions, 22 points to 10. And Upper Central, what a weekend it's been for them so far. I know you're involved with the senior men's team, but uh, that won the national title yesterday. How good would it be for the Upper Central region if they also went on to win another title here today? It would be huge, mate, especially with the Wakato players not playing.
Great Haka there to get things fired up for the upper central Stallions, but you're right, Blake. This team, of course, doesn't, uh, even though it encompasses the Waikato region, no Waikato players in there because of COVID, right? Yeah, exactly right, mate. And um, they didn't have them last time they played, so there's no excuses today. So I'm really looking forward to this close encounter. Um, like you said, a last minute try in the last game decided it. I'm very excited, mate. The sun's out, the wind's dropped a bit, so let's see some exciting footy. Yeah, we must mention that wind again is coming from. The northwest, it's coming off the mountains today. A strong northwesterly breeze will be blowing pretty much diagonally across the screen as you look at it there from the top right to the bottom left. And it's going to favour the South Island in this first half. So all is set for a terrific contest here. Who's going to be the 18s champions 2021? Upper Central here in the blue and the green. Or will it be the South Island? Going to be Tomme Puna to kick off. 80 roll from Rotorua, and we're underway. South Island, it's going to be with the first carry. So thank you for joining us. 35 minute halves for players of this age. Callum Donaldson bringing it forward, the West Coaster in the South Island team. And here's the winger coming in. It's Martino Boy from Christchurch Boys High School. Well, Archie Jacobs, the coach of the South Island team, has big raps on Martino Boy. Now the other winger, Laurie, playing the ball in centre field. Now Murphy, here's Longa Party, and straight away creates space here for Boy again. Boy draws a player, and now it is Napeta who has kept the ball and a fresh set of six here for the South Island to start the game as Nasio, Nasio, very good athletic player. He's going to feature strongly in this game. Slotting into dummy half was Murphy on that occasion. This is Keelan Jackson. Keelan Jackson playing the ball for his hooker, Tafua. And now out it comes to Christie. Oh, it's been taken away by Puna for upper central. That's a shame for the South Island. It was building nicely there, Blake. It was building very nicely. Great start by South Island. Now let's see what upper central have. Let's see how far they can go down this set. Well, we saw handling in the previous game was critical to the outcome of that game. These boys will be hoping to keep good control of the ball when they're in possession. Not give too many soft turnovers to their opponents. Well, good defence coming in from the South Island with the Central or Upper Central Stallions. But slow to get off their own line here as Durbin is taken. Still inside their own half. The Stallions. And Kameta. Back it goes there to Walker. And you see the ball holding up in the breeze. And Martino Boy to start the set just on his own side of halfway. Murphy again. Along the party. See the impact of him. Oh, he's dropped the ball there. And it's going to be deemed a loose carry. Well, he asks for... A strip, but it's not to be. Referee Fevers says it's going to be Stallions scrum right on the halfway line. Well, it was talked too, Blake, that Uriah Tooley might be playing in this game today for the South Island Scorpions after playing in the grand final yesterday for Canterbury. Didn't back it up with fitness uh, concerns, which was a shame because I'm sure the South Island would have loved to have him in their side. Exactly, they would have, mate. Um, both <laughs> down here on the sideline, both teams are very up for this game. Whether there's players playing or not, they're, they're both here to win this. Well, it's good to see. This is Armstrong. Really good prospect, too. Here comes the front rower, Slade Fangnahue. It was taken on the 30. 
Down it comes to Durban, a ball playing back rower. All the hands let the player down there, Hammond. And this is the South Island coming back here with Murphy jumping on that one. And here comes Donaldson again. Now Keelan Thompson, or Keelan Jackson rather. Murphy. Here's Nasio. Leo Nasio, good tackle coming in there from Walker, right around the boot laces. Donaldson again. So Daniel Donaldson just on 20 metres out. Rangy front rower from the West Coast. Here's Christie. Out to Nepata. Oh, he couldn't link up with his winger there, Laurie, and it's just gone into touch. So it's going to be the Stallions to have a scrum fee, but good endeavour there. Maybe the execution just not quite there yet for the South Island. That time, Blake. No, mate, not at all. I mean, th th they look promising, and they have looked promising to start this game. Both sides have. It's very, very physical. I don't know if it's coming across on the screen, but out here you can hear the contact, and uh, yeah, I'll just see who holds the ball first and who completes their sets will be the telling tale. As it is in most games, as Puna feeds the scrum. All the party in there making a tackle, so to Junior Tulia Kiono. Front rower for the South Island Scorpions. So Walker, another really good prospect coming out of Rotorua in the sport of rugby. Good chase. On the winger there, Gillett. Faulkner is already out there. John Lee's Faulkner right on the halfway. The central, upper central standing's got a good little roll on here. And a restarted tackle count as Durbin picks up the loose ball. Here's Rowley once again. In fact, it is, this is Pang Nahue. Big front rowers in this. Stallions line up. Here is Faulkner. Second row from Tauranga. There's Puna with the kick, but it's been charged down. Play on's the call. And here is a breakout here by Laurie, Oliver Laurie. Good tackle by Armstrong, but the South Island, if Laurie can get to his feet quickly here, can have a real roll on here. Now, Callum Donaldson. Good run from Donaldson. Tafur at dummy half. Here's Murphy. Oh, this is looking good. Nasio. Good short pass to Longa Party, but that was a try saving tackle by his opposite number, Marsh. Great tackle from him. Nasio plays dummy half. This is Murphy again. Now it's back to Keelan Jackson, who's trying to muscle through. But Walker stands up. And makes a good tackle, as does Durbin. So some good defence on their line here from the Stallions as Murphy feeds it back out to Tafua. Tafua only five metres out, Murphy. Nice pass. That's Christie's kick as he overcooked it. Oh, he has, but only just. But not much in that. And a good set of six there from the Scorpions. But the Stallions, a tick next to their name. For their defence there, Blake. Yeah, mate, they're, they're up to this. Like I said, I keep, I keep saying it, but the Stallions, great defence, great attack by the Scorpions. I think they missed a chance by going left early, but, you know, now, now it's the Stallions' chance. They got the ball, let's see what they can do. Lasiki, it is. From Gisborne, the only Gisborne-based player in this upper central Stallions team. The left winger for the Stallions. Here's a nice little run going up the middle of the field from Jason Kimata. Now it's back to Pang Nahui again. Always hard man to bring down, is he? Slade Pang Nahui from Podonga. Durbin. Durbin, he's going to have a crack at the line here, Harry Durbin. Good tackle from Nepata. And here is the last Yay. tackle now for the Stallions. Now, Puna threads the kick through. Brilliantly done. And there is the opening try. And it looks like Armstrong has scored it. 
Tamiro Armstrong. So the Junior Warriors players combine there to score, and it's the Stallions that score first. Oh, that was clever play. I know you enjoyed that one, Blake. Oh, mate, I sure do. This is a great game of footy to start. Both teams, only one or two errors, but they're, they're chancing their arm. They're willing to play footy. Don't worry about the weather, about the wind. They're both throwing it around, both carrying hard, both hitting hard. And a bit of class there by Tommy Puna, as you see, just steps back off the left, puts a right foot kick, grubber, just straight through that gap. And that link and combination he's got with Armstrong, he was right there to put it down. Well, there you are, Puna, an 18-year-old from Rotorua Boys High School. He's lining up the conversion to his New Zealand touch rep. He played in the New Zealand 18 schools team last year, contracted to the Warriors. And Armstrong, who got the try, played five games for the Warriors SG ball team last season prior to COVID ending it. Of course, the Warriors did not have an SG ball team this year. Oh, he's missed it. That's a poor attempt there, you'd have to say, from Puna from a hand position. Nonetheless, it is Tamiro Armstrong getting the opening score from fullback for the Stallions. They lead four points to nil. Armstrong is a former Auckland Grammar first 15 player and a Chiefs 18 player in rugby union, but he's back in Rotorua now. Uh, two 18-year-olds who are highly regarded, both making that New Zealand 18s clubs team, which is excellent. Now that kick is out on the full. That is not what was required from the South Island Scorpions. Back to halfway we come, and it's going to be the Stallions with a penalty. Well, an example here of the win, Blake. Yeah, mate. The, well, we've seen early in the earlier game how costly mistakes are. Um, they've got the win with them, and... I think they just got to time that, but I know Caleb Murphy's got a good kick on him, so he was a bit unlucky there, tried to bite off a bit too much. But now Stallions going into their own half. I think they might tap it here. It might be a tough kick to go for touch. Yeah, it will be. Oh, we're just waiting for the ball to come back. So, sure, Warriors... We'll be watching this. Tony Euro to Stacey Jones, of course, are taking control of the young fellas at the moment. Hoping that Armstrong and Puna and others that they've got their eye on will have good games in this match. So far, so good with Puna and Armstrong combining nicely for that first score. I'd like to see uh, this set, mate. They set up to go left and try and get Tommy Puna and Jericho York, that deadly combination, starting to go. They rigged havoc last time they played. I'd love to see them set it up this set. Yeah, well, Jericho York, his brother Tama, his older brother Tama, is heading over to Redcliffe to join the Warriors in the off-season as well. So there's some good family connections. And running through here is Tapuria Marsh. The master player, 25 out. Here comes Hammond. Valu Hammond. Here's Faulkner, another one who's the Warriors have had their eye on in the past. Here's Faulkner into the 10. Now come here to dummy half. This is Durbin. I like the cut of this guy's jib too. Good ball playing back rower. There's another dimension to a player if, uh, who plays lock if they can have some ball-playing ability. And there's a dive for the line. I think it's held up. Yes, referee Beavers says go back to the 10. But a nice effort there from Brooklyn Rally. He's a big lump of a lad too, isn't he? Rally going very close here. But not quite close enough for the referee. There's the kick through on the last tackle. And it's a good kick too. Perfectly weighted. It's a line dropout. Beautifully executed kick there, Blake. There's that man again with the touch. We've seen him lay on the first try with his, with his boot. And now he's held it up perfectly. Well, Murphy should get good distance with this kick. And it's not too bad. It's taken by Walker. And back comes John Lee's Faulkner. Good carry of the football. Post meters, post contact meters. Excellent there from him. 
Kamita. Now Durbin again. Durbin gets to his feet quickly. Good play from him again. He's having a strong start to this game. Puna. And there's a dive for the line, and it's another score. And there is the left edge combination you were talking about. Jericho York scores the try, and it is eight points to nil. Wow. The combination's going beautifully for the Stallions at the moment here, Blake. Yeah, and you've got to put it down as well to Harry Durbin. Through the middle of the lock, quick play the ball. Just gave Tom Apuna that extra second of time. And as you can see, Jericho York too big, too strong for the half. And the centre holding him on to carry him over. So great footy all around for the Stallions. Yeah, he was at the New Zealand 17s Māori tournament last year. And he actually made the tournament team, Blake, as a winger. So he's now a second <laughs> rower. And uh, means he's obviously got some pace and power about him. Again, another prospect here. Jericho York. <laughs> so here is Puna. He's always on time, every time. He fluffed his lines with that first conversion attempt. Mm. And he's not able to convert that one either. So eight points to nil, but two tries to nil. It's the Stallions. And York getting that second one. He also scored tries against the South Island when they played in pool play and got one against Wellington too. Right, Stallions leading by eight points to nil. I hope you're enjoying our coverage. Don't forget we have a triple header coming here from Napunawai today. The final match will be at two o'clock. We'll have the men's championship final between Otago and Wellington. And that will also be broadcast on Sky Sport 4. So I hope you can join us for that game too. Murphy kicked out, uh, kicked out on the four member from the last kickoff. Gets this one right. Back comes Marimu. Well, that was a play the ball that wasn't square, so not played correctly. So that's going to be the South Island Scorpion scrum feed. And as a back, former back, Blake, this is where your eyes light up, right? 20 metres out, full set of six. Sure does, mate. I'd like to see him come wide off this scrum to um, to one of the captains in Campbell. Just see what he can do out the edge here, especially with a lot of room to move. Uh, but Coach Damien White wouldn't be happy with that set. No, that was a, a basic error. So Murphy to free the scrum. Tafua with the pass. Now Christie. Now Nama Nepata is up from fullback. Nepata. Couldn't quite feed his winger. Laurie. Who's got the ball now? Jason Laurie. Not the biggest winger, but he doesn't lack heart or courage. As Tafua slots back into dummy half. This is Keelan Jackson. Passes to Tulia Kiono. Tafua again. Now Murphy. Murphy to Longapati. Oh, the pass couldn't quite go to hand there for Boy. And the referee is going to come back. Who's he going to award the scrum to? He's going to award it to the South Island here, Blake. That's an interesting call. Yeah, I think I think the uh, winger there just had a little hand on uh, the play as it was going. It will, oh, he saved the try, but uh, obviously South Island have another set of six. Well, they'd love to strike back here, the Scorpions. Let's see if they can execute this. Nepata up from fullback again. Oliver Laurie. He's had a couple of good runs in this game already. Keelan Jackson. Here comes Donaldson. Donaldson, risky pass, but Murphy has it. He still has it here, Caleb Murphy. Going to have a crack himself. There's the pass to Keelan Jackson, and it's Keelan Jackson who's too big and strong. Edu Keelan Jackson goes over to score the try, and he showed out strongly in the early stages of this match with his aggressive running, and he's rewarded with the try. So the South Island Scorpions on the board, 8-4. to four. Well, he's just too big and strong here, Blake. So I've been fun. There's Uriah Tooley. 
So I've just I been given. Want, yes. Yeah. I, I have, did wonder um, if it was Tuli. Yeah. We had the old uh, a mix up there with the team list. Well, it is definitely Tuli. Well, I'm pleased you confirmed that for me, Blake, because I called him yesterday and I saw him carry the ball a couple of times earlier and I thought, now blow me stones over. That is definitely Uriah Tuli, but of course. We haven't been told, so it has. It is definitely Tuli. So good to see him backing up from yesterday's grand final. And here's Murphy with a simple conversion, and that brings the South Island right back into contention. So it's eight points to six. So there he is, Uriah Tuli, played for uh, for uh, the Canterbury Bulls in the men's grand final yesterday, and here he is backing up 24 hours later. So the Stallions restart play, and it's Puna. And here is Tuli, the try scorer. Oh, here he goes again, big Uriah. Just 18 years of age, and to see him get an opportunity in the Canterbury Bulls senior men's team this season is really encouraging. Again, another player who's come through the rep system in the South Island. So the South Island coming back. Murphy here, key player for the South Island Scorpions. Good rugby league IQ in that head. So the South Island got a full set here. Inside the half. And Nassio. There's Murphy. Now Tuli again. Good pass from the lock this time. Fast play the ball. Good roll on here for the South Island. Tafua, here's Christy. Nice work from him. Tuli handles again. He's getting a lot of touches early in this game. Uriah Tuli. Tafua, Murphy again. Here come the South Island. Nasio could have a crack here. Good tackle. He's a hard man to bring down five metres out. The South Island continue to press. Tulia Kiono. Last tackle now for the South Island. This is Christie. Good ball out to Campbell. Nice offload and a lovely try in the corner from Jayton Laurie. What excellent rugby league from the South Island Scorpions. And they take the lead. Great comeback by the Southerners. That was great rugby league. Like the play from Campbell there to create space for the winger, Blake. That was superb. It was, mate. It's good to see uh, Uriah Tooley has come into the game and really stepped up and, and led them. They're starting to get an upper hand now. The momentum's starting to swing. Uh, the upper central stadium is starting to fall off tackles. But as you see, they had them stacked to the right, perhaps a kick. They've thrown a long ball to Campbell, who had enough strength to hold off, throw his pass, and they've scored there in the corner to take the lead. Yeah, Jayton Laurie got a try against Wellington. Also got a try against Upper Central in the pool game between these two teams. So nice comeback from the South Island here, conceding those first two tries. And now they lead. And Murphy, who's hardly missed a goal all tournament, he got this one from the sideline, but he's got the win behind him. Oh. He's a very good goal kicker, this lad. And Murphy converts from the sideline 12 points to eight. Something about left footers. They're excellent <laughs> kickers. Well, look, he only missed one attempt from six against Wellington. He got all five against Mid Central, all four against Northern, and he got all five against Upper Central. So, he's, by my count, Blake, he's only missed one attempt in four and a half games now almost. Pretty it's amazing. It's outstanding, especially with the wind here. Well, now, let's see how the Upper Central zone stallions respond to this great comeback by the South Island Scorpions as Uriah Tuli comes forward again Papua now, Donaldson hit hard here by Harry Durbin so 
The Stallions have hardly seen the ball the last 10 minutes, and here is another great burst, and this is Longapati. Longapati, the fullback, great pass, and blows away to score again. Oh, sensational. Martino Boy with the finish. And don't touch the South Island Scorpions at the moment. Blake, you'll burn your hand. They're on fire. Oh, they've turned this game on its head, haven't they? The last five to ten minutes, the forwards have started going forward. The halves have come into play. And look at that lovely line by Longa Party and the pace just by Bill just to come in, catch the ball under the post. Well, it all started back in their own half. And all Longa Party, great little pass there to him from Nasio. And that pass, oh, that was on the money, wasn't it? And Martino, boy, away he went. What well, great rugby league. Combination down the left flank. Boy, Nasio and Longapati was first class there. And now Murphy continues this outstanding record of goal kicking 18 to 8. Well, I'm sure if we had a allowed to have a lot of spectators here today, Blake, they would have been all on their feet with that one. They would be a standing ovation. We said it from the start. Both teams are willing to chance the arm and throw the ball around, no matter the condition. So it's exciting to see young fellas like this play some footy, and we're starting to see some results now. Well, the Stallions, as he touched on there, they can't get their hands on the ball at the moment. Possession being dominated by the Scorpions, and they're turning it into points with three very quick tries. Well, let's see what happens this time. Papua. And now Donaldson again. He throws himself in there, doesn't he, Callum Donaldson? Really good to see now. Here's the try scorer, Martino Boy. Papua. Here's Campbell with a carry. It's a great offload for him to open up for Laurie a moment ago. Now here goes Tafua from Dummy Half. Remember, he's been in Australia playing in the Melmaninga Cup this season. And unfortunately, though, he just lost the ball there and an error. And that will be welcome for the for the Stallions, Blake. It will. As we said, the momentum had changed. They're very unlucky for South Island. They were rolling down the field again. But a good break for Upper Central Stallions. Now their turn with the ball. See the big boys, maybe maybe the wingers get involved, take some pressure off these big boys have been doing all the tackling. Well, Puna to feed the scrum, and this is the first time we've seen some possession for the Stallions for quite some time. Well, they want to get through to the end of their set here. Rally. Here comes Durbin. Durbin, good angled run behind the ruck. And Durbin plays it now for Kameta. Now Marsh. Puna. Back comes Rally again. Pressure, pressure. Hunting, hunting, hunting. Last play now for the Stallions. Puna with that okay. kick and there's Armstrong sniping around again, but it's cut out this time by Tafua. And oh, the South Island get the job done and they get a penalty as well. Not, the, not things going right now for the Stallions at the moment, Blake. No, not at all. Um, they had their chances there. Uh, we've seen some class from Tommy Puna with the kicks. That wasn't one of them. But now uh, South, South Island chance to gain some possession off the Murphy kick which goes a bit of distance they'll be back in attacking territory in no time so the South Island come forward again and here comes Nasio uh, featuring strongly now out there is Perez who's wearing 14 for the South Island here he is again at dummy half, and now Nyman. Jacob Nyman throws a forward pass there. 
and unfortunately he is uh, going to turn over position there for the South Island six and a half to play until half time and the Stallions well they won't want the South Island scoring again and they would love to get a try themselves Here come the Stallions again. Funga Vulu Hammond offloads beautifully to Armstrong. Good pass from him too. Good hands here from Sione Lasike. 38 metres out. So nice little burst there by the Stallions off the scrum. And now Gardner Hanel. Try scoring machine is handling for a rare time in this first half. Straight and hard goes York again. Got that second try. One little fumble at dummy half again. Those errors, unforced errors, Blake, now starting to hurt the Stallions. They are starting to creep in for both sides, aren't they? It was, it was a good carry by Jericho York. It's good to see him not stand out in the left edge and just wait for the ball. He's getting involved, but fundamentals there costing them. Let's see, hopefully the South Island Scorpions get through this set. Well, been an exciting comeback from them. Tries to Tuli, to Laurie and the boy. Two tries to the Stallions to open this match, uh, the scoring this match, remember, with Armstrong and with York. Run from Laurie off the scrum. Now Campbell, originally a West Coaster. Now playing in Christchurch. South Island's 20s player from earlier on this year. Here's Donaldson again. He works hard, doesn't he? Callum Donaldson, good run again from the front rower. Now Perez pinches 10 from dummy half. Fast play the balls here. Here's Murphy, front foot running ball here for him. And the kick is a good one too for Boy to chase. Didn't quite get the bounce. But another good set of six from the South Island Scorpions to push them deep into the Stallions' territory. That was exciting. Caleb Murphy, the ball on the string there. Unlucky not to stay in. They're starting to, once we said before, the momentum was starting to swing. I think they got it back now. They're starting to roll. There's a nice, nice balance between their halves, isn't there, in that South Island team, Blake, with, with Murphy, a really controlling type of half. And... We're looking at uh, Jacob Nyman, who's uh, got plenty of stepping and, and excitement, hasn't he? There is. It looks like Caleb Murphy's really taken control of directing the, the team around, especially his left edge and doing a lot of the kicking. And it just leaves the rest of the team, especially the other half, just to use his feet and his vision. Well, Armstrong coming forward here. Tamiro Armstrong, the try scorer. The first try scorer for the Stallions. Here's a good opportunity here. Out it comes to Lasiki. Lasiki almost getting away. Oh, the temptation to beat his man on that loud side was too much for Sioni Lasiki. And again, the South Island scrambling defence is good, Blake. It is. Lyman, that man get across. Great tackle one way. If he didn't make that tackle, could have possibly been a try scorer to Lasiki. But Lyman, that last line, made a great leagues tackle, taking him out. Good work from Gardner Hanno to create space for Lasiki, but just couldn't come back on the inside to stay in the field of play. So the South Island have more possession here inside the three inside three minutes now of this first half. This is a critical moment in the game here. The South Island can score again. Huge lead for them in this. 80s youth competition final for 2021. Papua. Well, that's gone forward, surely. Donaldson. The referee's going to allow play to continue. Donaldson's not held. How good has Donaldson been? In this game so far. Papua. Now Murphy runs onto it superbly. Nepata. A couple of Decoy runners might have posed a problem for Nepata there. So, he came back towards the posts. Perez out to Tafua. Perez.
There's a dummy half again. Now Murphy. Murphy measures that kick, but that one's too strong. And Armstrong read that one comfortably. And has got it for the Stallions. But again, it is going to be hard yards for the Stallions coming downfield here. Deep in their own territory. Well, someone's going to have to take ownership and leadership in this Stallions team. As Marsh plays the ball. Marcio in there making a good tackle for the South Island Scorpions. Oh, yeah, backwards. They throw it in reverse. And not deliberately either. Now, Puna. Oh, Puna's got some space here. He can run, remember. He's a former New Zealand touch rep. Oh, he made a poor decision there by going on the outside of Boy. And the opportunity to play good, smart rugby league, not there that time either, Blake. I saw a chance there. I just thought he should have turned up, chewed the extra metres and put that kick in at the end. I think it was the right option to go down there, not to get... Not to die off the ball, though. Um, now South Island got 30 seconds. Can they put some more points on here? Oh, boy. Let's see if they can. It would be pretty spectacular if they could. This is Rapture. Eva. Eva playing the ball in his first year of rugby league. He's in there in a final. Now Donaldson has had a really good first half. Tackle busts. Post-contact metres from Callum Donaldson. Doing a fine job for his team. It is out to Murphy. Now to Nyman. Nepata in from fullback. Who is going to sound any second to conclude this first half? <coughs> Nyman gives it to Campbell. And Campbell will take the tackle and complete what's been a very good comeback in this first half by the South Island Scorpions. They trailed 8 0 when Armstrong and York got the tries for the Stallions. But since then, the Scorpions have been superb. Tooley, Laurie, Boy getting the tries all converted by Caleb Murphy. 18-8. to 8. We'll have a look at the first half highlights right after this. Here in Tauraroa, when times get tough, we pull together. From lockdowns to vaccine clinics. We're keeping COVID out. Our whanau make awesome decisions when we know the facts. It's about looking after all of us. With community immunity. Kaura ano tātou. Tia tua, kara fiua. Tech, we understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world-class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertech from the pack. Pertech will keep you operating.
Well, it's half time here at Napunawai in Christchurch, entertaining first half of rugby league. The Scorpions leading 18 points to eight in the final of the 18th Youth Tournament for this year. Three tries to two, and uh, it's a story where the Upper Central Stallions dominated the first exchanges and posting two quick tries. The first of which was scored after a great little kick here from Tome Puna, and he threaded it beautifully, and it bounced up superbly for Tamiro Armstrong, the fullback, four points to nil, unable to convert the try though, Puna, and then he was involved in the second one too, and York sneaking through the tackle there of Jacob Nyman, and it was looking good for the Stallions, who had a comfortable eight-point lead at that stage, but then the Scorpions came back, and here's Uriah Tuli who scored yesterday for Canterbury in the men's senior final, getting on the try-scoring sheet today as well. And they really did well to come back into this game. By now, the Scorpions were playing full of confidence. And this move out to the left was beautifully finished. Nyman with a big, long pass here, and Campbell strong in offloading the, tank, the, offloading in the tackle there. And that freed up Laurie to finish. And then this, the best try of the lot. Really good work here from Murphy. And then Nassio took it to the line, drew the player, and Longa Party's line was superb. He really sighed through. And then this pass had to be very accurate, and it was. Boy, the winger, finishing off a spectacular effort from the South Island. All three tries converted by Caleb Murphy, 18 points to eight. It is at halftime to the South Island Scorpions. Blake Ashford... Former NRL player of the Warriors, Tigers and the Sharks. It's uh, a really interesting first half, dominated again by the Scorpions as it turned out. But again, this wind, which was behind the Scorpions in the first half, is going to favour the Stallions in the second half, right? It will, it will. It hasn't changed one bit. It just gets heavier and heavier. But the Stallions came out on fire through Durban and obviously that left edge of Puna and York, the combination. But didn't Caleb Murphy, Donaldson and the crew come strong in that back end of that first half and uh, Nasio and Longapati look very damaging on that left edge I'm expecting a lot more footy be played some fun footy, some free flowing footy in the second half Yeah well we'll see who goes on to win the 18's championship for 2021 in just a moment stay with us, the second half coming right up Here in Tauraroa when times get tough we pull together from lockdowns to vaccine clinics. We're keeping COVID out. Our whanau make awesome decisions when we know the facts. It's about looking after all of us. With community immunity, kaora ano tatu. We understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world-class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating.
Yes, now Punawai and Christchurch, thank you for joining us. Very shortly, we'll have the second half of the 18s Youth Championship final. Currently, this team here, the Stallions, trailing by 10 after the first 35 minutes. But they do have the win behind them in the second half. And out come the Scorpions, who mounted a very fine comeback after trailing 8 0 to score 18 unanswered points. It was the back end of that uh, first half. Played really good rugby league. We just need to see how this uh, second half unfolds. Don't forget, this is the second game of a triple header today. We've already had the first game, won by Mid Central Vipers over the South Island in the 16s division. Mid Central winning that by 22 points to 10. And at 2 o'clock this afternoon, we hope you can join us for the men's championship final between Otago and Wellington. Both of those teams finishing second in their regional pools to qualify for that uh, match coming up at 2 o'clock. I'm sure we're going to get a terrific clash between those two sides who uh, played out a thriller on this very field actually two years ago, which Wellington won. The referee, Jack Fevers, all set for the second half. Scorpions leading by 10 in the 18s final. Three tries to two in the first half. Straight away, Brooklyn rally. With plenty of attention on him. Come here, Tuck. Look at that forward dominance in the latter stages of that first half, have they, the Stallions? See if they can... Get that dominance back again as John Lee's Faulkner heads towards the halfway line. Kamita. Now to Walker. Good little surge through here from Hammond. Bangavalu Hammond playing the ball in the Puna. Well behind the advantage line though. Forced to finally kick and Nepata in good position here. He's going to start the set. 25 out from his own line. Now Boy, who got that third try. Martino Boy. Finished off that fantastic break from Longapati. Very slow play the ball there. Stanley is lucky not to concede a penalty. They do concede the penalty this time as Laurie was held down for too long there Blake yeah two in a row they were just laying down I thought I was right with you I thought they were going to give the first one but now it just offers the st uh, of, uh, South Island a chance to open the scoring in this second half well, when you trail by 10 you need your hands on the ball and it's not to be for the Stallions so discipline and all those sort of things come into play now penalty free half from here really for the Stallions to come back into this contest. Good run there by Oliver Laurie. Eva. 25 metres out. Good play the ball. Here goes Tafua. Very versatile player. Started at dummy half. Perez occupying that position at the moment. Here's a good burst for the line. And it's Nasio who's gone over to score. And Nasio. He's got a big future in the game, this lad. And he's rewarded with a try. He was the player of the South Island tournament earlier on in the year. And he showed us a glimpse of his skills right there. Blake Ashford, fine finish. We spoke about that left edge. Both left edge have been damaging. And Nasio, he's having a cracker of a game. He's been passing all day, so this time he decided to tuck it under the arm, have a run. Look at the speed he hits this with. Show, ball in two hands. They fell for it, and he was one-on-one -on -one with Armstrong, too strong. Yeah, they had real nice momentum. Some good hands there again from Caleb Murphy, who's having a really good game at seven for the South Island. And 22 points to eight. They are continuing their dominance. Now let's see if Murphy can convert this one. See if he can get the win right, Blake. On oh, the lefties. Oh, the wind has oh. swung it wide. <laughs> so Caleb Murphy misses for just the second time in the tournament. There he is, Leo Nassio. Shirley Boys High School coming through the Canterbury system. 
loves this rugby league and he scores that try. He has, in fact, that was his first try. Oh, no, he got one against Mid Central. So I'll go back through my notes here. And one against Northern. So his third try of this campaign for the South Island. I really like the look of him. He's got some skills, and that kick is flirting with the sideline, and it's a great kick in the end. He ended up being perfect. Well, when the wind is as strong as this, you've got to use it, and they did there, the Stallions, and this might be a change in fortunes for them, Blake. Well, they definitely needed that, didn't they? Let's see them put some play on once again. I know it might be sounding repetitive, but I'd love to see them set up right, go to Tommy Puna and Jericho York. Oh, Murphy, time that one so well. But those awkwardly bouncing balls can be tricky sometimes as York tidies it up finally for the Stallions. Lasiki at dummy half. Now Puna and Rowley. Pass play the ball. Kameta. Now they're on the front foot here, the Stallions. There's Faulkner. He's tackled finally. He's still going, Faulkner. Good run. Slow play the ball, though. Has that South Island defence well and set. Let's have a crack from dummy half, says Kemata. He's taken short. Lees Faulkner into dummy half this time. Is Puna. Puna. Over the line or on the line. Can't get it down. He'll have to go back to the 10. So Tommy Puna to continue the set. Now it's York again. All that kick has been knocked forward there by Nyman. So it's going to be a scrum for the Stallions. Thirty-five minute halves in these games. Remember, for players of this age, eighteen-year-olds. Feed the scrum for the Stallions. And all these players from Bay Plenty. No Waikato players in their team this year because of COVID. Here comes Puna. Now, this is Marsh. Marsh, good run. Marsh can't quite get there. Good scrambling defence. Brings him down. Rowley's going to try and barge over. And he has. He scores the try. Brooklyn Rally. And the Stallions. After a very quiet period for them, they finally got back on the scoreboard. Their third try scored by the front rower, Brooklyn Rally. Well, he got a good head of steam up there, Blake. Look at it. <laughs> Essentially off the back fence, you could say. He'd come running from about 10 metres wide, 10 metres back. Just hit it at pace. He was too big, too strong. South Island not coming off the line. Very hard to stop a bloke like that. And gets the try, runs off, gets a drink. Have a rest, another buddy. Bay. Have a rest. Exactly. Another Bay of Plenty player from the coastline region, which is, of course, like Tauranga area. So the upper central zone, of course, in New Zealand covers Waikato, Bay of Plenty. That's a, the South Waikato region around Tokoro, Mangakino, Taupo, all around there. And then across the Rotorua and over to Gisborne. So it's a big geographical area as Puna. And he still can't convert a try. He's missed all three attempts. And just wonder if those missed goals might come back to bite the Stallions at the back end of the game. They trailed by 10. Oh, the South Island shouldn't be too bothered by that. They've still got a comfortable margin. Puna nicely taken. Oh, he's through. Tommy Puna. 
Puna. Oh, good tackle. Nepata. Puna wants to get to his feet quickly. Kemata. They continue through Faulkner. What a great tackle from Nepata to bring Puna down. It needed to be made. It was a try saving tackle. This is Tang Nahui, and he's been. Uh, it is a penalty for the coastline, for the uh, Stallions, rather. It's an illegal play at the ruck. So the Stallions come back here. Pang Nahui again. Big lad, biggest lad out there, really proving difficult to bring down. Perez finally brings him down. And Kimata at dummy half again. Now it's York. York getting close. Kameta again. And have a little snipe from dummy half. Very close, Kameta. Plays for Nongataha Chiefs in Rotorua. Here is Puna. Good chase and tackle by Leo Nasio. Like that play. Quickly, quickly picked up there. Here comes Walker. Now it's out here to Marsh. Marsh can't quite get the kick, but it still could be a line drop out here, and boy will be driven. And some good work by the Stallions in that set, Blake. Great courage from the kickoff from Puna, firstly, to, to take that and set them up in this field position. Now the momentum swung. They know what they need to do. It was a bit frantic, that set. I'd like to see them go back to what they've been taught at training and see if they can put some plays on and really manipulate these edges. Well, the South Island in a bit of a grind at the moment. Well, that's unlucky there for Puna. Those awkwardly bouncing balls. Can bite you on the bum, Blake Ashford, as it did then. Yeah, and it stings, I'll tell you, mate. He's not happy. He got a high five, and I don't think he wanted to, to give that high five at all. That bite on the bum really stung. Well, it's all the momentum. Just goes in an instant like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now, now they've got to defend, try and get the ball back. Positive, plenty of time left, only 10 points down. Murphy. Now Nassio. Slow play the ball down. Ended up being a good one from the Stallions' perspective. Here's a good charge up over halfway. That's Eva again. Now Murphy with front foot running ball. That's a good run. Oh, here's Longapati. Longapati through. Armstrong holds up his Warriors teammate, but only just. Good run from Longapati. And it was Richie Kuresa with the big burst there, number 16, to set all the momentum going. The South Island's way is Tafua. Is taken right on the 10. First time we've seen the Scorpions down here for a while. Murphy. Here comes Nyman. Nyman. All the hands let the South Island down there. It was Oliver Lowry who let the opportunity go through his fingers. And unfortunately, the South Island can't score. But again, some real endeavour going forward from the South Island Scorpions, Blake. Very unfortunate there. They look like they had the running. I love that left side play. They look very dangerous every time they have the ball. Kayla Murphy had all the time in the world, just held it up. Found Longapati was too big, too strong. Got held up. But now, their time to defend. Stallions. Restart play. Kameta. Now I'm strong. I'm strong to play it on his 10. He's just got to keep beavering away. Durbin's back out there now. A strong first stint on the field, and he's earned his team a penalty there. Mate, both coaches have, I think, got a sense of urgency because we've seen Uriah Tooley go back out, and now we've seen Harry Durbin back out, those two hard-working locks. Yeah, both fine players, aren't they? Set of six starting on the halfway line here for the Stallions. Trailing by 10. Four tries to three. Just a goal kicking proving quite decisively different between these two teams at the moment. As Lasiki picks it up here for the Stallions. Armstrong sniping and 
hunting around the ruck. Slotted in a dummy half there. Now they've got a good roll on here, the Stallions. There's Pang Nahui played the ball. Here's Puna once again. Armstrong. Here's a gap for Tamiro Armstrong. And he's too good and he's gone through to score. Good work from Armstrong. He saw where the green pasture was and went right through. The defence wasn't quite there on that occasion for the South Island. And Armstrong made them pay. It is 22 to 16. Well, back come the Stallions, Blake. Oh, this is great rugby league. They've used Jericho York all day as a batting ram on that left edge. And as you'll see here on the replay, goes straight through and draws the defenders. Nyman in, comes in to make a contact, leaves that open gap. They didn't follow him in. And Armstrong, too smart, took that gap, took it at pace, left foot step, try, gets him right back in. How exciting. Let's get Tumo across here for a, his first goal of the afternoon and let's get this margin real close. Exactly. Armstrong's second try of the game. Tamiro Armstrong, remember the 18-year-old, five games of SG Ball, Rugby League for the Warriors last year. So the Warriors have had their eye on that lad for a while, as they have with this lad here, Puna. He's missed all three of his kicks. He needs to get this one over here. And he has 22 to 18. So first success of this game for Tome Puna. And 22 to 18. And now it's really game on. Oh, mate, the excitement. Can you smell it? The excitement, the tension. It's all down here, ground level. It's unbelievable. Well, we're looking forward to seeing how this unfolds now. And this is where Sweaty Palms can take over. You've got to need a cool head composure to get you through, Blake, too. You sure do, mate. That's, well, let's see him get to this kick. This is really important, this set. Obviously, South Island defence and the Stallions attack. Oh, Murphy restarts play. Still plenty of time left. So this game really up for grabs now. It really is 19 to play. Pang Nahui with a good run. York. Here comes Faulkner, who's been a hard-working player off the interchange for the Stallions in this game. So back to the halfway in three tackles. Good set unfolding here for the Stallions. Marimu with the ball. In fact, that was Hammond. Now Puna on the fourth tackle. Puna almost slides through. But a good tackle coming in there from number 12, Oliver Laurie, for the South Island. This is the last tackle now. And back it comes to Dylan Walker. Now Walker's going to use that wind with a high bomb. Let's see how the putter goes here. Oh, he's dropped the ball. He's dropped the ball, and the Stallions get the error they were hunting for. What a good kick from Walker, Blake. It was a great kick. We've obviously seen Tommy Puna get tackled, who's the usual kicker, and Walker's put his hand up, come in, put it high up in the air. It seemed like the wind just picked up a bit as well after that kick. Yeah, it's always tricky when the wind starts swirling, and there's all sorts of spin on it. Very hard for fullbacks these days to take those. The good ones, of course, make it look easy. So here's a big opportunity for the Stallions to maybe take the lead here. As Durbin gives it to Puna. Puna! And he made that big break earlier. Fast play the ball. It's half's partner Walker at dummy half. Here's Durbin. Out to Faulkner again. Faulkner getting close. Kamita into dummy half again. He's going to have a crack himself. Can he get it over the line and score? He has. It is Jason Kemata who has scored the try and equalised this, this game. Jason Kamita from Rotorua. Wow, that's three tries on the trot now to the Stallions, Blake. They've certainly swung it, haven't they? They've they got their chest puffed. They're running hard, showing a lot of deception. And uh, a couple of errors from South Island really helped them get the ball and get that ball over the line there. So let's see, after they kick this goal, let's see how South Island respond. Wow. They were down by 10 at half time, the, the Stallions. And then, of course, Nasio scored that try to extend the lead to 14. So this is quite some comeback by the Stallions here in the 18s final. Hope you're enjoying it. 
It's a good endeavour, positive rugby league being played by both teams as Puna pokes it over. And the Stallions trailing by 14, now lead by two. It's 24 to 22. That's uh, coming to second try of this campaign. Got a try against the Wellington in their last game. As you see, Coach Archie Jacobs as well wants to tighten up the middle. He sent the workhorse back on. Donaldson, he's back on for, to finish the game. Well, what a wonderful first stint Callum Donaldson had. And he'll need to re replicate that in these last 15 minutes. As Puna, he starts play. Oh, Donaldson straight into it, isn't he? Paying the hooey. <laughs> what a great clash of the number 10s right there. And this is what the South Island need. They need some sting in their defence now. As York plays the ball. Here's the try scorer, Kameta. And he's hit hard by Richie Kudessa, the Southlander in the South Island Scorpions team. He plays on the wing, would you believe, for the Southland boys high school first 15 last year. The big lad playing in the middle is Durbin. Has a crack at the line, Harry Durbin. Kameta. Back to Walker, plenty of time to load up on this kick again. And that was a courageous catch by Nepata that time, Blake. Great courage. Didn't phase in that last one, got back under it. Had those boys steaming down on him as well. They needed that South Island. Well, he's not the biggest fullback going around, but he's got plenty of heart and courage. And this is a break, a clean break here from Campbell. Tom Campbell got no support with him, but Campbell we need a fast play the ball here. The South Island, big opportunity to strike back here. All those players out the left were surely offside as Murphy has a crack at the line. Caleb Murphy. Murphy plays the ball quickly. Tafua switches it out to the left. Nasio. This is looking good for the South Island. And a try in the left-hand side. And it's boys' second score. Very good rugby league. We've got a great game on our hands now with another league change as the South Island go back in front. <laughs> hey, happy days, Blake. <laughs> the captain just said, come on, boys, I'll put you on me back. I'll show you how to do it. Ran straight through them there, got them in good field position. And as you see on the replay, it's just eyes up right there by Nasio. He realised that there was three on two, asked for the ball on that left edge again. Simple, no one being selfish, just simple play for each other, through the hands, simple footy. Yeah, great work from Nasio and from... Longer party. I mean, both are really damaging runners in their own right, but they had the smarts to give it to the man who was open out wide boy. So well done to them. 26 to 24. This is good stuff being played by both of these teams here. Got a really good finish coming up to this game with a national title, remember, on the line. Watching live coverage here of the 18's Youth Championship Final for 2021 here in New Zealand between the South Island Scorpions and the Upper Central Stallions, the Bay of Plenty Waikato team with Gisborne and Poverty Bay as well as Murphy. Oh, he converts it beautifully from the, the sideline. He's got his kicking boots back on there, Caleb Murphy. What a wonderful conversion, 28 to 24. It's the South Island back in front by four. Uh, I just need to remind you too with time ticking down that if we are tied at full time we will have an extra time golden point period so let's see if we go that far there's still plenty of footy left in this game yet Donaldson takes the first carry Kudessa Tafua back into dummy half again. And Donaldson with another carry. In fact, that's Laurie this time. In fact, no, it's number two. Yes, it is Laurie, in fact. Jason Laurie. Here's Murphy. Looking out onto the left to Nasio. Nasio creating havoc. Nasio. What a run. Excellent play from him again. 
Here come the South Island with a big line up out to the right here as Murphy cuts out about 50 million players, gives it to Nyman. And then Nyman did take the kick as it's the last tackle and Armstrong back in position there for the Stallions. But a good set of six from the Scorpions there, Blake. I love that, that last play option. Murphy two pass out to Nyman and he did the right thing, put it in the corner. Now look how they got to come out, the Stallions. They've got to go 100 metres. Still plenty of time left though. Very exciting last 10. Speaking of exciting, how good is Nassio? Oh. Every touch of the ball, he's got some something to ask, hasn't he, Blake? He sure does, mate. He's, he carries the ball in two hands and just keeps the defence guessing every single time. And that right-hand fend on that left side is, is very damaging. Oh, here, come, here comes York again. Out there now is Rogers Podo for... Stallions, he's wearing 17. Dylan Rogers, Pudo. Handles right there, and it's Puna. Inside is 40. Let's keep an eye on this one. Nicely taken by Campbell. Good catch by the captain for the South Island Scorpions. And Campbell takes the first carry, and there's a penalty. Well, welcome penalty here for the South Island with exactly 10 to play. Murphy's hardly put a foot wrong in this game. His goal kicking's been excellent. His awareness of what to do on the field has been very good. There he is, number seven, Caleb Murphy. As I touched on earlier, he's already played Premier Men's Rugby League in the Christchurch Club competition. So, got some good, good prospects going forward as Tuli passes it out to Donaldson. Good to see him a bit wider of the ruck this time, and he manages to keep the ball in his hands, but only just. Oh, I say that, and he has lost it. Well, he's a little unlucky there, Donaldson, Blake. He is, he is. He did hold it, hold it and the ref gave him the benefit of the doubt, but that second one just went a bit forward. Jeez, this game, just the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Now we get to see the Stallions with the ball. Well, we've got a full set. They do have a lot of territory to gain to get into a position here. Maybe score. Well, let's see what can happen. They're going to run it from the scrum. There's York again. Three carries for him in this game as Armstrong slots into dummy half. And here comes Lasiki. From Gisborne. Only Poverty Bay player in this team. Rogers Pudo now Durban again. Both locks have been excellent in this first half, although Tuli hasn't shown up as much in the second half. Durbin plays the ball. Now here's Tang Nahui again. Here he is, he's through. A big little a big man usually beats the little man there, but not that time. Great tackle from Nepata. Now a big chance for the Stallions. Here's Walker. That's Armstrong, beautiful inside pass back to Puna, and Puna's going to score. Tom Puna with good strength. What great rugby league this time from the Stallions. And they hit back, and it's 28 all. Well, I don't know about you, Blake, but I can't get the smile off my face. <laughs> yeah, mate, you read it. You can't see me, but I'm smiling ear to ear. Big tongue of hooey. I love seeing a big man in space. Straight through, skips out, got tackled. And I thought they'd sort of blown it here when Armstrong went back inside. I thought he had the chance, but... That's why I'm on the sideline commentating and these boys out here showing their skills because that was lovely. Inside ball and Tommy Puna. He was the man on the spot. Too big. The little fella, too strong. Now he'll convert to go in front. Wow, great rugby league. I said it was going to be tough for the Stallions to go 65 metres on that set. They made me eat my words, Blake, didn't they? Oh, they're doing to us both, mate. And like I said, that's why you and me got the mics in our hands and these boys are performing. So Puna for the lead here. He does convert from in front. So it is 30 to 28. Another lead change. What a great second half of rugby league here with the Stallions back in front. Under 10 to play now. 
they have gone great they've scored four tries now in the second half have the stallions three of them have been converted so they were down remember by 14 at one point feel like there's more drama coming in this game though blake i do i do i think well let's see how this first set pans out because like i said the gift that keeps on giving this game who's going to hold on to it make an error or make a break well, Murphy with the restart. Oh, Lissiki showed him the sideline there just for a second, didn't he? In the end, he did well to stay in. As York hits the line again. Now, the Stallions won't want any errors from here. They just want to get to their kick here. Use the wind to get downfield big time. Find the hooey again. Rogers put out. It is. Here comes... Bat Brown over the line now. This is O'Shea Bat Brown. Durbin it is. Just one out running so far from the Stallions as they look to soak up some time. Get to their kick. Which they have. Walker will go high. Oh, he's overcooked that one. And it's back to the 20. So the South Island have a full set here. On the 20. I guess they're back in their defence here, Blake. Yeah, the South Island very smart to leave it and get those extra tackles. Um, now the Stallions, I think they're just playing that footy, trying to hold on, which could be very costly in a game like this. Let's see what they can fashion here, the South Island Scorpions. Surely it's got to be Nassi or... or Longer party on that left hand side. It's a great run from Junior Bolia Kiono. He's back out there to end the game. Now they do swing it to the left, and Murphy's dropped it. Oh boy, he's had such a good game. And right there, that era, Blake Ashford could come back to haunt the South Island. Oh, very unfortunate, Murphy. He's been clinical all game, steering, and you, you could just sense then that it was coming. And that left side, you can see, I think he wanted to get it to Nasio before he had it in his hands. Um, let's hope that we've got, we get to see some more attack. Now let's see. For Puna. Right on the halfway line here. Here's Durbin. What an honest game he's had. Here is Pang Nahui. Good hands. It's been coughed up by Fort and that player's offside. Pang Nahui. So it's going to be a penalty for the Scorpions. Murphy. So three minutes to go. They can win the game here. They've just got to get down the other end of the field and capitalise and score. Not going to be easy, but they'll cook something up as Campbell takes the first carry and it's a good one. Laurie at dummy half. Donaldson. Now they come to the left through Uriah Tuli. Papua waits that dummy half. Kudesi used as a decoy. Here's Murphy. Sizing up the options. Decided there weren't many that time. Took the tackle himself. To Leah Kiono. Here's Donaldson. Times his pass beautifully to his fellow front rower there. Here they come. The last play. Oh, beautifully taken by Puna. And Puna has saved the day for the Stallions. And now they have the chance to wind the clock down. Do the Stallions. Wow, a couple of big plays from Puna in the second half. have got his team really on the front foot. And here's Dylan Walker. Walker is through. Dylan Walker. 
He needs support. Walker. Oh, the hands just let Hammond down, and the South Island have now got another chance with 80 seconds left, Blake. Do you back them? <laughs> yeah, I do. The way this game's going, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. I thought he could have gone to ground then, but come on, South Island, show us what you got here. Well, Puna, it is. Sorry, rather, uh, boy, it is. Let's see what they can do. Leo Nacio's had a fantastic game. He passes beautifully here to Longapati. Longapati can't quite get the kick return, and it is taken by the stallion so close there Longapati and Nacio fashioning up something absolutely superb there down the left and that might be the last chance the South Island have Armstrong for the stallions with time ticking down just 30 odd seconds to play are they going to close it out here There'll be nothing flash from the Stallions, just one off running. Oh, now hang on, it's a knock on, loose carry. And here come the South Island with one more chance. They need to set the scrum because the time, the clock is ticking. The last time these two played, this is the exact same scenario, but the Stallions had the ball and South Island held on to win. Let's see what South Island wow. can do. Let's see what happens here. This will be the last play, surely. So Caleb Murphy to feed the scrum. The hooter will sound any second. There it is. It's down to this last play here. What can they cook up here? The South Island. This is Nyman. Surely they're going to come back left to their damaging runners. There's the kick from Laurie. It's just a kick and chase. And it's going to be gathered there by the Stallions. And they win. The Upper Central Stallions are the under-18 national champions for 2021. What a game. Between them and the South Island Scorpions, and what a comeback by the Stallions. They trailed by 14 in the early stages of the second half, and it went to and fro from there, and the Stallions got there in the end. Great game of rugby league by both teams. The Stallions win by 30 points to 28. Well, we can take a breath now, Blake Ashford. <laughs> Mate, congrats to Damien White, Upper Central Stallions. Also congrats to Archie Jacobs and the South Island Scorpions for putting on a great game. That was some great rugby league from some young talent out there who no doubt have got brighter futures. Um, amazing rugby league and right down to the end, wasn't it? Let's hope the, the next game is just as exciting. Well, that was what a, what a brilliant game of rugby league. And then we had all sorts of try scorers. Well, let's go through them for you. There were three in the first half for the South Island. Tuli, Laurie, and Boy. Armstrong and York got two uh, got tries in the first half for the Stallions. And then in the second half, Nasio extended the lead from the South Island for them. 22 to 8 it was at that stage, Blake. But then we got tries from Rowley, from Armstrong, from Kameta, and all of a sudden they were in front. And it just was to and fro on another day. The South Island could have won that game, right? Exactly, mate. The, the, just the way the game went. And both teams just didn't stop attacking. Even though the weather, you know, it went up and down, up and down. But the momentum just switched back and forth. And like we've already spoken about, the rugby league that these kids play today... Um, everyone out there can hold their heads high because that was some great rugby league. It was very physical from the out get and it continued for the full 70 minutes. Well, we've got to sort out an MVP, Blake, and this is going to be really tough because there were some real standouts on both sides. So let's uh, give credit to Nasio, to Longa Party, deadly runners. Murphy had a great game for the Scorpions, didn't he? How good was he? Yeah, he, he was enormous. Like, you already spoke about his experience. Um, just guiding the, the team around. It was unfortunate that error at the end because you knew something was brewing, but um, didn't, didn't drop his head. And you already spoke about Nasio and Longapati in the losing team. That edge was huge. But we've got to give the MVP, I think, Blake, to the number seven in the Stallions, who he was the, the catalyst for the comeback, right? He was. He was. He had, um, you know, a lot of touches with the ball. He scored a, a try himself. Um, got the, the momentum changed really off that kickoff when he caught it on the full and went straight through, ran 60 metres. Uh, he was in everything, but not to mention, um, not without mentioning, sorry, the support of Slay Tungahui and Harry Durbin. Um, they, they were huge. Even Tomato Armstrong from the back. His combination with Tommy Puna was uh, enormous for the stadiums today. So Tommy Puna, congratulations, MVP. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's our MVP. So well done to Tommy Puna who was instrumental in that second half. 
And we can confirm that score for you. 32-28. Great game of rugby league. The second absolute thriller that these two have played out this season in round robin. The South Island won at 30-26, to 26, so almost an identical score. <laughs> now we can stand by for a presentation here. Well, there we go. The Upper Central Stallions, the champions for 2021. And Tom Epuna and his teammates. Great weekend for the Upper Central Stallions winning the men's national title yesterday and now the under-18s title today. So really good effort from them. Congratulations to them and thank you for watching here on Sky Sport Next. We hope you can join us at 2 o'clock in just half an hour's time. We're also going on Sky Sport 4 as well for the men's championship final game between Otago and Wellington. We hope you can join us there.